Hi, this is LaDawn Sperling with, uh, I almost said I was with Denver Tree and Landscape. I am not. Should I wait for the plane? Hi, I'm LaDawn Sperling, Realtor with Coldwell Banker, and this is another LaDawn on location. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Denver Tree and Landscape. We had such an amazing experience working with them that I wanted to introduce them to all of you. Well, the problem with the service industry in general is it lacks service. You just get the, the gruff guy on the phone that's like, what? yeah, I might be able to help you. Or you get the rude lady that's answering the phone. It, and it, it's just remarkable to me. Denver Tree and Landscape was born through um, wanting to give an experience to the customer that they weren't getting with other contractors. It's grass is grass and trees are trees and they're all the same, but what's the experience that one has throughout the process? So a typical project for us usually involves some sort of border and that's where you're doing either a rock or a mulch, a breeze, stone, some sort of border, an outline, sod in the middle, hardscaping, usually a patio, a fire pit. That's, that's typically where we're at. My first job as a kid, knocking on doors and mowing lawns. And then in the winter time, knocking on those same doors and shoveling sidewalks. The thing I like most about this industry is the creation process taking a plot full of dirt and turning it into an oasis. And if someone can come home at the end of the day, step into their backyard and be on vacation, that's really what drives me to continue doing what I do in this industry. <laughs> if I were a tree, what kind of tree would I be? I'd probably be, I'd be tall. I'll be broad, maybe like a, a linden tree or a cottonwood tree. Big and powerful and just, they're so big, they're messy, so you love it and you hate it. I'd say a cottonwood tree. If I was a tree, I'd be a cottonwood tree. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs>